putting feet on the wall. Uh, our main objectives with this plan are as follows. Increasing family plan uptake, increasing skin power attendance, and increasing the expense of I can even use, I can talk without the mic. And increase in the incidence of obstetric fistula and increase in emergency obstetric care of tech. Well, we decided to have this objective because of the obvious problem we have at the state level. One is our contraceptive prevalence rate is still low, and the the number of women delivered by skilled birth attendant is 20.8. And of course, even though a lot of interventions are going on, on obstetric fistula is still a main problem, especially in our part. And uh, of course, we need to increase the emergency obstetric care because of the high maternal mortality that has been experienced at our own zone, that is Northwestern zone. Who are our direct beneficiaries? Yeah, women of productive age group, uh, with more focus on adolescent girls, which is common, of course, because we marry girls at very much younger age. So these are men, young men, and general population. So how do you do that? In Kaduna, we operate, our health system operates in a cluster way. That is, in every local government area, we have 23. We have a cluster. Fortunately, in Kaduna, we have a general hospital. Almost in every local government. In fact, some have two. So, within that, with that general hospital as a referral center, we form a cluster in every local government. But we try to see how best can we operate our cluster by integrating a lot of services and establishing linkages. There are services that we don't give, uh, either though we are not given much attention. But this time around, we decided to carry all the services to make it more comprehensive within our cluster. So this is our cluster model. As you can see, we have the general hospital, which is the virus center, that is expected to provide comprehensive services both emergency comprehensive emergency of care as well as other productive health uh, services such as family planning and vaginal physical repair uh, and care skin tone attendance etc and of course these are the facilities within the cluster we have PSC, in every cluster we have four PSC and one secondary health care facility uh, at the PSC level we are expecting them to provide basic emergency of care, in addition to family planning services, as well as use friendly services. This use friendly services is very important because that was not the services. We are not giving much attention to it prior to this time. So this time around, we want to make sure that all our BSC within the cluster provide the use friendly services. That is uh, adolescent and sexual electric health services, such as uh, providing family planning, condom programming, Etc. And even post-abortion care, if possible. And of course, uh, uh, we try to bring about the schools. You know, we are wondering why schools should be linked to health. But with the development, we realized that there are a lot of health problems affecting the youth, which was not given much attention. So this time around, we want to uh, incorporate the youth problem into our health system. It may not be a direct health problem as such, but when we interact with them, we can give them health education so that they avoid so many things, prevent so many youth-related uh, health problems. So that is why within our cluster, we carry on board the schools. So there are these schools. That's where we our our target is the in-school youth. And of course they will be interacting. We have clubs, the health and life planning clubs in all the schools that will be from time to time giving health education to all the youth within the school. In addition to the in-school youth, we also have the out-of-school youth, those that are accidentally got pregnant along the way and they were dropped out of the school. So uh, we have a plan for them as well. We make... Well, uh, so they too will, be, will, will consider 
how best they can go back to school and we make provision as to where they will keep their children while they are in the school. And of course the community, com community component is there where the community will be mobilized, demand will be created so that they will know that all the services that are among the facilities are there and they are meant for them so that they can assist them even more. Uh, to further boost the demand creation, we intend to have to train peer educators that will, uh, from time to time, will be talking one-on-one -on -one with the, some key community members and educating them on the importance of services being provided at the facility.